I know plenty of woke white people, far more actually than woke black people. So I know it's catchy to yell racism and everything, but you're wrong. I mean, this is a racist dog whistle, it is. What the dog doing? So we just got done talking about the uh, submersible thing and I, I've, I've uploaded a video. It's probably already live about that. Um, <clears throat> you should go watch it. But I wanted to just focus in on this one genius take by a man known as Joey Man, Man, Mar Joey, Mar Joey Marinera, I think. Jo Joey Marinera. And uh, he had something to say about the whole sub incident. Now, I've, I've heard some really dumb takes from white right wingers where like, it's the whole like, what are they really doing? What are they distracting us with? Why are they distracting us with this nonsense while they do other things like, I, I don't know, talk about pronouns in schools, right? All the while they go to their 40 hour a week jobs, uh, slaving away for their bosses and never question it. I digress about that. This was not a distraction. This was just a thing that happened. They don't kill billionaires as a distraction mechanism. That is contrary to the entire point of this system. Anyway, that's not the take that we're talking about. I just felt like pointing that out. We're talking about somehow an even worse take than that. And that take is, drum roll please, wokeness killed the people on that submarine. Cue the uh, Elon picture of the sink joke. Anyway, they died because the woke CEO said he wouldn't hire 50 year old white men who knew how to command submarines and would rather train others. And the CEO died too. That's the next level of go woke, go broke. Beautiful. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Leftist praxis makes billionaire go smush. This post seems to be triggering to some. But you can listen to this right here where he says he's not hiring on competence, but on what will inspire people. I don't care what color you are. I don't want damn inexperienced people diving, driving my submarine. Let's listen take a look. To what he talks about, the CEO talks about hiring people. Uh, yes, I mean, when I started business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub operators out there, but they, they typically um, have... Uh, gentlemen who were ex-military submariners, and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational, and I'm not going to inspire a 16-year-old to, to go pursue marine technology. But a 25-year-old uh, you know, who's a sub-pilot or a, a platform operator or one of our techs can be inspirational. And so we've really tried to, to get um, – very intelligent, motivated, younger individuals involved because we're doing things that are completely new. We're taking approaches that are used largely in the aerospace industry is related to safety and uh, some of the, the preponderance of checklists, uh, things we do for risk assessments and things like that that are more aviation related than um, ocean related. And we can train people to do that. We can train someone to pilot the sub. We use a game controller. Um, so anybody can drive the sub. You have forced diversity by hiring a bunch of young white people as opposed to old white people. That's pretty true. Like, let's really think about this, right? <clears throat> Are you telling me that there is nobody who is not a 50 year old white guy that can pilot this thing? Like really? Well, first of all, nobody can pilot it because now it's fish food, but like, like assuming it was a working sub submersible, right? Like, obviously this is ludicrous to suggest that there's not a single goddamn 25 year old who is not a white guy that can pilot this thing. This is part of that whole thing where they just get mad anytime there's anybody who is not a white guy doing something that is good, you know? Like anytime they see like a, like let's take a black female doctor for instance, right? They would think that that person was hired on the, on, on the fact that they're a black woman as opposed to just being good at their job, you know? And they'll always tow this line of like, well, we, we don't care about color, we're colorblind. We do, it, it doesn't matter if you're black or, or white or whatever. We just don't want diversity hires. We're tired of diversity hiring. And then like they see any black person anywhere at all doing like anything besides like, I don't know, farm work or some shit. And they're like, oh, 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 it's a diversity hire. Of course this happened. Of course this happened. It's a diversity hire. And it's like, well, I mean, no. By the way, the guy who was piloting the damn thing was like a 50-year-old white guy, <laughs> you know? So I'm just saying. Like, it was the guy who was talking right there. It says, guys, I know this is confusing to some, but the word woke is not a substitute for the word black. Black and woke aren't related. First of all, you're completely wrong about that. The word woke came from the black community. They're just not related now because you ruined the word. But I digress. 
I know plenty of woke white people, far more actually than woke black people. So I know it's catchy to yell racism and everything, but you're wrong. I mean, this is a racist dog whistle. It is. What the dog doing? Because the implication is that there's there's just not, there's simply no, boy, howdy, oh man, oh my goodness, oh, if only there was just a non-white person who could pilot this thing, but there's just not. You know, only white people are good at doing this thing that we do. So we just have to get a white person, right? No, that's stupid and you're an idiot. Of course that's not the case. So like, but, but you can't read too far into the implication of what you're saying. Like there's nothing wrong with saying, listen, we're gonna try to get more diverse a more diverse group here because we understand that like there's privilege right there white guys particularly have a lot of privilege and so we want to you know not exclude them but try to prioritize people who are on a similar level as them who aren't a white dude you know and maybe younger okay like they got to get experience i'm sorry like i know that when you're 50 you have more experience but how are you going to make sure that young people also get experience doing these things, right? There's also a lot of benefits to hiring younger people. They have newer ideas. They can see things with a fresh set of eyes and they're more open to change, okay? There's a lot of benefits to hiring a younger person and a person who is not a white guy, all right? One person out of 50 has a vagina instead of a penis, conservatives. OMG, the woke companies are racist in Western civilization. Yeah, the amazing Western civilization that was built. Um, okay, just real quick tangent. The amazing civilization that was built by white men is prone to collapsing because of wokeness. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like the white men who built the society did a pretty shit job. <laughs> If, if that's what collapses it, you know what I mean? They did a very piss poor job. Like that's the perfect counter to that, right? You don't even have to argue like, whoa, I mean, uh, but but think about it, but th but th that's racist, that's racist, Dude, you're racist. Like you don't even have to go there. Just be like, oh, well, you know, sounds like they did a shit job then. Yeah, it says a lot about the foundation, huh? Yeah, well, they should have built a better society. I don't know, don't know what to tell you, bud. Anyway, uh, I just thought that was a really funny take and I wanted, I wanted to go over how fucking stupid it was. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. You can join my channel membership at youtube.com slash TTV slash join for only 99 cents a month. That's less than the price of a blowjob from your mom. You can be part of the channel membership program and you will get early access content as well as a sweet badge next to your name and exclusive emojis in the comments that nobody else gets. Thank you again and I will see you all in the next video.